I'm just in my vlog camera wraparound that I have to do all the time to find it. But good afternoon, everybody. So today is Monday. It is, I'm good. It is August 21st and I am cleaning my room. My room is a little bit messy and I've been trying to keep my room clean just because it helps my anxiety and I've been having a lot of anxiety recently. Um, I started school last week on Tuesday or Wednesday, so I'm almost a full week in to school and I was a little nervous because this is my first semester taking fully graphic communication classes. I'm not, um, I have two more, so I have 10 credits left, I'm taking five, uh, 10, I have 10 classes left, I'm taking five classes this semester in the fall and then I'm taking five in the spring. And um, I have two classes left there, like prereqs. I have to take a writing class and then I have to take like a computer class. And then I also have another elective that I need to take, but I'm taking a marketing class. Yeah, I think that's it. Then I graduate. But there's just been like a lot of stuff going on and it's just been like a very stressful time. Um, I moved offices at work, so I'm in a completely new environment for work. Um, Corey leaves at the end of this week. So we only have like five more days left together, which is always very hard. I am taking up a lot of new responsibilities. I am trying to back out of pet sitting and I'm kind of going into the whole um, photography realm. I'm doing some photo work for my mom's work and that's just a big, huge time commitment as well. On top of like Corey leaving, I scheduled my trips to go see him. As of this semester, I'm only going down once. Um, I typically only go down twice in the, in the fall, but um, he's coming home mid-September, so I'm going down end of October, and then he comes home for Thanksgiving, and then he comes home for Christmas break, and then I'm going back in February, April, and then May for graduation. It's just been like a really stressful time and everything, and the only thing I can really control right now is my room, so. <laughs> but I've definitely been going through a lot of anxiety just with all these new changes and all this stuff. Um, I also have to think about I'm going full-time for work next year, so I kind of have that in the back of my head. Um, Corey's coming home in a year. We have one year left of long distance, which has also been in my head. Um, just like a lot going on. I really want to do more this year, like this fall. I want to go to like fall festivals, and I really want to just like walk, and I want to be that like aesthetic girl, but in my own way, because I'm not aesthetic at all. But I mean like I really want to watch more YouTube videos and watch more shows and just like be more I don't want to just do school 24 7 like maybe go to coffee shops just get myself involved in like more things because I don't go to school I do school online so I really want to just get out of my house more I'm <laughs> sorry I look down and this is what I see <laughs> hi BB um I also have to call my doctor I'm trying to switch doctors again the doctor that I originally went to back in July or June didn't really work out, um, so I need to schedule a new doctor. I'm going to my mom's doctor. I need to call and make an appointment because I have bruising up my back, which I don't know where it's from, but I've been having a lot of lower back pain, so I really wanna make sure it's nothing like serious. Um, but yeah, I'm looking at getting massages to try to help with my headaches and my anxiety. Um, yeah, I've started to get like really anxious again, so I really need to start working on that, and I also want Oh my god. Hello everybody and happy Tuesday. It's looking very green outside today and like very like green. It's currently, oh I've got butter on my watch. <laughs> it's currently 3.12 and I was just watching some TikToks. Do you have to go outside? <laughs> the queen herself. Hi CC. Happy. Wednesday. Today is August 23rd. I thought I got the month wrong, but I did not. So I got a very spooky email at work today that one of my professors didn't think I turned in my assignment, but there were like two submission areas. So I did turn it in. Um, she just graded it that I didn't. So I like saw my grade was a 35% and I'm like, that's not good. So I sent her an email and sent her like my receipt that it was submitted and Hopefully, hopefully it's okay. Side note, just because this made me sad today. 
my cantaloupe that I brought to work for lunch was bad, so I couldn't eat it. I took, like, it smelled weird, and I was like, oh, maybe it's just because it's, like, getting warm. I took a bite of it. Not good. I had to throw it away. I don't really know what I'm doing tomorrow, or I know today I'm going over to Corey's to paint my paddleboard. Um, tomorrow, I don't really have any plans, and Friday, I think him and I are doing stuff all day, or, like, some part of the day, um, because it's the last day here. So I just looked outside and it's raining, which is not good. Hello everybody and happy Thursday. So I would say that this is a good Thursday, but I feel like it's not a good Thursday. So today is the second to last day that Corey is home. He heads back to school Saturday morning, which I'm not excited about. The only thing I'm excited about is just like traveling like i always enjoy like going down to florida to see him just because it's like fun and everything but like normally after like the first couple trips i'm over it like normally like the fall trips i'm i'm like excited about but once i get to like the february trip i'm just like over it so yeah but we gotta curl our hair because Corey and i are going to the sunflower field um like 50 minutes from my house but obviously I want to take a couple pictures while we're there but I plan on going back with my mom but like I just want to fix a couple of these pieces like some there that I just they're just not working I'm never excited for him to leave but there is a little bit of excitement this time around in my head because I know that this is the second to last time that we're going to have to like send him off to school this is the last full year of it but like there's two more times that are the big send-offs. So it's going to be tomorrow night and in January when he goes back down. And then those are like the last two big ones. And then we have some little mini ones on my way homes and stuff from when I go to visit him. But we really only have like four of them. And only three of them I'm going down to see him. Like flying down myself. And coming back without him. Because the last time I fly down to see him I will be coming back with him. So I'm very excited for that aspect of the long distance, but I'm not excited in the aspect that it is long distance again, but this is our last year. Um, we've come a very far away. I am so beyond proud of the both of us. Just There's been a lot of ups and downs. I'm not going to say that it's been perfect. There has been some issues and there's been ups and downs, but like that's what happens when you go from living three minutes down the street and going to the same high school and all the same schools for 12 plus years to living in a different state and with whole new people i'm in a whole new place like but i feel like we've both like i didn't really think of it at first when we first like started like dating and like college first started i was like we're not going to change that much but like we've honestly both grown to be like so different than i feel like we were when we were in freshman year but yeah i really think we just need to get past the fall and i feel like the spring is going to fly by just because i'm going down a couple times and then just with graduation just so much going on and I honestly feel like the fall is going to fly by too because I have a lot of jobs with like photo stuff through my mom's work and I just have so much going on in between that and soccer and school and work. I've got a lot going on so I'm praying that this fall goes by quickly. Anyway, enough talking. I just walked all the way to my car to get my vlog camera. Thank you. All right, good. Oh, my bracelets. Good morning, everybody. Um, it's currently 9.32, and I've had a night. So, Corey left to go back to school this morning, and it's always really hard when he leaves, um, but he left at, like, 5.30 this morning, and I stayed at his house last night pretty much until, like, 5, and then I came home um, because... It was either like he had to sleep because he had to drive at five so it was either i stayed with him or i left at 12 or like 11 o'clock at night and i was like you know we live like five minutes away from each other i was exhausted because i hadn't slept well the night before i'd been crying i was just like you know what i'm just gonna stay like i'll leave when he leave when he has to go the alarm went off at like five to wake up and he woke up and I was like, well, I guess I'll head out so you can get 
your stuff packed up, like the remaining stuff because it was supposed to rain. It didn't rain, but it was supposed to. Um, I still feel like crying, but it's not as bad. Um, I just don't like long distance. Anyone who's in a long distance relationship knows this. Got a lot of stuff going on that I want to do, a lot of stuff that I have to do. Um, I'm gonna try to start cooking. I might make those into shorts. I definitely want to like document that, but I plan on cooking more. Um, so I really want to start cooking. I have some portrait stuff going on with my mom's work. I have school. I have work. Um, I have little bits of pet sitting. I'm trying to back out of pet sitting, um, just because I have a lot of extra stuff going on in my life and pet sitting just hasn't been fun anymore. And I'm going full time for work next year, so. But yeah, so pretty much we have one year of long distance left, um, two semesters. So by May of next year, he is coming home. And I am so beyond excited for that time. Because then we don't have to do long distance anymore. And it's done. But no, I'm excited for the next chapter of life, which is going to start um, once we graduate college. But yeah. So I have a couple things I want to do today, so I figured I'd bring you all with me. Um, I try to just do stuff to kind of like make the day a little bit more exciting when he's not here. Um, it normally hits me at night because I typically go over there around like 3 or 5 o'clock at night. Um, so the mornings it's not normally as bad and then when I realize he's really not here it makes me sad. So, um, But I want to go to TJ Maxx because I saw that they have their Christmas stuff, I mean their um, Halloween stuff out. I just want to see if they have any cute decorations. I want to go to Starbucks because I haven't gotten my fall drink yet. So I'm going to get up, get ready for my day because I'm hungry. Also, Corey took my old camera. And I'm going to have like separation from my camera. My child's gone. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you've got Simone that walks in the hallway like... She like hobbles down the hallway. Alright, everybody. Good afternoon. It's now currently like 12. I took a little bit longer to get ready um, just because my stomach hurts. It's new. My stomach always friggin' hurts. It's the most annoying thing on the planet. Yep, look at me glowing. I don't know if there's space on this side, but if there is, you can use it. I need to clean out my truck. I haven't cleaned it out since. Okay. I haven't cleaned out my truck since Ocean City. I didn't vlog our whole trip because my hands were full 90% of the time. But I'm gonna give you guys a haul. Okay, I was not recording that whole time, I guess. We ended up going to Five Below, Michael's, TJ Maxx. We got Starbucks, my first fall drink, which is the Venti Iced Pumpkin Chai Latte, which was so good. It tastes like literally a pumpkin pie. <laughs> my mom's gonna show her little thing she got. Oh god. Let me focus on it. <laughs> you gotta turn it a little bit. A little more. Right there. <laughs> awesome. That's what my mom got. Um, she got that five below. So we went to five below, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So first off, I got this cat scratcher because my cat has been scratching up the white wicker cabinet in my bathroom for a long time now, but it's actually starting to look really, really bad. So we're gonna try to find a way to like zip tie this to that corner so she's just scratching on this instead then i got two books because i wasn't sure if these are like popular books and if they have them at the library but they had them there and they were only like five dollars each so even though this one on the back says 12.99 but i'm pretty sure i did not pay 12.99 for it i paid five bucks for both so i got this one it's called admission and it's by julie Buxbaum, and it looks good I'm also currently reading the Madison Beer book. I finished Harry Potter, so I'm actually like picking books I want to read on my own free will now. <laughs> and I got When You Were Mine by Rebecca Searle, and I'm excited to read those two books. Then I got this, which I am so excited about. I asked for this for Christmas, but I didn't get it. And when we were at Five Below, I saw it, and I was like, I have to get it. So it's one of the Peekaboo mugs and it's literally a little snail in the mug but like look how cute this mug is and like you just put your drink in 
and as you sip it the little snail becomes more and more visible and it's so cute and I'm pretty sure this was like five bucks but they had some other ones too that were really cute then I got the blue raspberry prime hydration drink I've never tried prime and I've been intrigued if it's actually good so I got that I got two packs of sour sketty because I love sour sketty it's like one of my favorite candies and then the last thing that I got which I kind of don't really need but I thought it was cute was this little pet bed and it has little smiley faces on it and I thought that I'd put it in the corner of my room for when like Simone comes in or if Bella wants to lay in it um but it's just a really soft and squishy pet bed and that was like five bucks too um I we walked around like TJ Maxx and like Michael's and like the fall festive section because I really wanted to get in the fall spirit um since it is a fall time kind of fall doesn't start till the middle of September but like Starbucks released their fall drinks school started it's fall time like Corey left it's fall like I always count like fall starting and like summer ending like once school starts and when Corey sadly heads back to school but yeah there's my bourbon in case anyone cared <laughs>